Hi craft students, I thought we could celebrate being back to school by drawing our craft mascot, the corgi. So today I'm going to show you one way to draw a corgi. Let's get to it. Corgis are small dogs. They are very cute and come in a variety of different colors. They are loyal and smart and that's why they're our school mascot. I'm going to start drawing my corgi. I have a piece of paper and a pencil. Remember when you're drawing to draw nice and light until you get it right so you can erase easily. I'm drawing a arch shape, an arch line at the top of my paper. On each side of my arch, I'm going to draw two small curved lines. My next step is to connect those two curved lines. I'm drawing with my finger first to make sure I know where my pencil should go. Connecting those two arches together. And that's going to be our Gorgie's head. Next, I'm going to find the center of our head to show its snout. Drawing a line down, going out, bump in between, and the same on the other side. This shape can be a little tricky, but I think if you practice, you'll be able to get it. On each side of the snout, I'm going to draw an eye. I'm just using a simple circle to draw my eye. You can draw really big eyes, really small eyes. That's totally up to you. Then I'll draw the nose in the center of our snout shape. and a mouth. You might want to add his little tongue in there or maybe his tongue sticking out. Next up is our ears. Two tall arches for our ears. And they're gonna connect to that curved C shape on the sides. Now your ears might not be perfect, but you can erase until you get them right. I noticed one of my ears was much bigger than the other. Maybe that's what makes your corgi unique, or maybe you want to just fix it. Then I'm going to do the same curve, but on the inside of the line. Same curve on the inside of the ear. Now we have a corgi face. You can customize your corgi face with eyelashes or a sticking out tongue or really big eyes. Now we're going down to the body. I'm going to start with the line that goes down, curves in a little bit, and then out. And same on the other side. If you notice, our artwork is completely symmetrical. Whatever you do on one side, you will do on the other. Now I'm drawing in a paw on each side. and a line that goes up and over an arch to connect the two paws. Next, we'll draw our hind legs, the back legs. We'll start by mimicking that first line 
stopping a little before the paw and making a paw that goes more outwards. Again, using symmetry, doing the same on the other side, paw that goes outwards, and a little line in between the front paws to show that the back paws do connect. The last thing I'm going to add in before I start to outline and color is a horizon line. This shows that the corgi is on the ground. The horizon line separates the sky from the ground. Now I'm going to start outlining. You don't have to outline. I like to outline. It makes the corgi look a little bit more bold. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did before, trying to go over those lines. If you make a mistake, you can always erase the pencil line and keep the permanent line. Remember when you're outlining to really take your time. Make sure you're going over those lines really nice, really smooth. It's not always going to be perfect. Sometimes you're going to make a mistake when you go over it. But you can always erase those pencil lines. So we're just going to outline the corgi if you'd like to make him look a little bit more bold. This is also a good time to add in some details you want. Maybe your corgi is wearing a collar. Maybe your corgi has some whiskers. Your corgi could have a bow on top of its head or a party hat. Completely up to you. Then we'll go in and we'll start coloring. Now we know about craftsmanship and how to make things look nice and neat by coloring the whole thing. Coloring should usually be a fairly slow process taking your time to make sure the whole corgi is nice and colored in and looks really nice and neat. Now you don't have to use the colors that I'm using. You can use a rainbow of colors. Maybe our Croft mascot is a rainbow corgi rather than just a realistic looking corgi. I'm using crayons and Sharpie, but you may be able to use markers or paint or colored pencils, something else you have available in the classroom. If your teacher would like to use those materials. Just really take your time on when you are coloring in your corgi. You can add all different patterns, all different colors. Maybe you want them to look really fuzzy, so you're gonna use a certain texture for your corgi. But really coloring him in all the way, leaving little to no white spots will make him look really, really bold.
once your background's all colored in, then you're all done. And I'm sure your corgi came out amazing. He might not look like mine, but that's okay because all of our artworks are unique. I can't wait to see your corgis and I hope you all have a really awesome and fun Friday. See you soon, craft students.